Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. Hi everyone. Kim and I are going to put together a vertical tower that's been sitting for the last couple of months. The soil's kind of old, it's kind of dry, but we're going to plant in 20 to 30 pepper plants. We're going to show you how to do that, refresh the soil, and use all the different ingredients here. Let's just start with what we need to take care of this project. So we are going to use container soil that is on its third year. Container soil can be really kind of just refreshed every year with some organic granular fertilizers, some water soluble. But after three years, you want to dump it out and maybe add in something like additional peat moss. You could use cocoa core. Underneath the peppers down here, we have some cheap topsoil. You can kind of blend it together. We're going to be putting in this flat of peppers. And the thing that's important about this is in the towers, you can pretty much put whatever you want in pepper-wise. But for instance, I haven't grown these before. These are um, srirachas. It looks like these are going to get about five feet tall. That's a little bit tall. You want peppers that are going to stay three or four feet tall. Yeah, it should be good. And also, at this time of the year, it might be a little late to start peppers from seed. So we just grab some transplants. Perfectly OK. You don't have to start every single thing in your garden from seed. So let's get rolling. So organic granular fertilizer, this is what it looks like. It's a slow release. Any, I always say, any kind of organic granular that's on sale. As long as it has nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, and P and K represented, it's good to go. Yep. So that's your slow release. That's fish emulsion, actually. The label's off of it. Yep, this is good stuff. That's your water-soluble fertilizer, and we're going to water stuff in with that at the end, and that's going to be immediately available to the peppers. So let's go over to the tower. I will hand one over to you. And the towers work really good to grow vertically. That way you can grow a lot more in a little bit of space. You'll have a ton of peppers from this tower. Yeah, so this is just a little three foot space. This is a green stock tower if you want to check out my video description. This one's not even full. So we're going to put in, uh, just we'll make the container soil real quick. We'll fill this one and then we will refresh, we kind of refresh, and if that's even a word, freshen up this soil and we'll set these both up and we'll put the peppers in them. Perfect. All right, let me hand this off okay, to you. Okay, so this is going to be our base? Yeah, so for the base, let's blend that bag of topsoil, which can be any kind of quality topsoil, and then maybe half peat moss, and that'll make something nice. While you do that, I'm going to weed out this Perfect. next year. And you can use any lower quality topsoil for your 50% mix. Peat moss is pretty much what's used in all your bag products that end up making it premium and more expensive. So you might as well just buy that bag of topsoil. And then throw mix in about the half the bag? How much are we going to need? Let's do the whole bag. Okay. If we have extra, I'll use it somewhere else in the garden. Okay. So this one is weeded out. We're going to dump this out after we make that batch of um, container mix. And we're just going to throw in some organic granular into here, a little more peat moss. But it's already nice and loose. You want to dump it out to really... Let's get that out of the way. Do You really want to dump this out so that you can loosen it up. And then we're just going to pop peppers right into this pocket. So let's go give Kim a hand. There yeah, give me a hand here. So this is topsoil. It's the cheapest kind of bag stuff you can buy. Not super quality, not a lot of nutrients. So it's one teaspoon, no, I'm just kidding. One big handful, <laughs> two big handfuls, and go ahead and mix that through. It's a great way to save money is just get yourself some cheap topsoil and the peat moss will add a lot of um, aeration and water retention to the soil. Yeah. And this is actually, for topsoil, this isn't bad. I like this brand, but next year it'll probably be gone. They tend to come and go. All right, let me step by the camera, grab the peat moss, and this is how I measure. Eyeball it. This is a good base, a 50-50 mix. I'd say that's about 50%. Now this is really wet. Peat moss is hydrophobic, so if you want to grab the hose, just spray it down. You don't, this isn't going to hurt you, but you don't want to breathe it in if you don't have to. So let me show you this. This is supposed to be dry Ooh, lime, nasty. but it got rainwater in it. So <laughs> will you hand me the hose? This oh, yeah. is how you take care of it. So you want to throw in like a handful of lime. It provides calcium, or you can spray it. Let's just liquefy it. A handful of calcium in here will provide your container plants some calcium. That gives them a second level nutrient that they need. <laughs> a second level <laughs> nutrient that they need. And it can protect from blossom end rot. 
Just get in with here with your hands and mix it in. Yeah, just mix it through. Gloves or no gloves. Yeah, I like the gloves because my hands get really dry handling all the soil. And then when it gets kind of dusty again, just spray it down. And believe it or not, this is a great container mix. Now you could add in other things, whatever you want, but this is just the base. It's the 50-50 mix. If you have compost, definitely now you could put in several shovelfuls of compost. A lot of times I'll add in some worm castings too. You could put in worm castings. You could put in leaf grow. Yeah, it's easy to spend a lot of money on uh, container soil, but this is a great way to really save yourself some bucks. So this is where then, so we kind of made the 50-50 base. Then I would put some in here, and actually maybe I would go two-thirds, then I'd throw in the worm castings okay. or compost. Just mix it right in, in the case, container. It's more organic granular. This will work for any container. Yeah, and just mix it in. So this is tier one. Does it matter if that's? No, okay. I mean, it'll, it'll, it'll clear It'll still out. fit together? Okay. So then tier one is going to go right here. And the footprint is really, really small, which is why I like these vertical towers. We're going to do five of them. And we're just going to kind of dig a hole. You know, we might as well do that now. Let's do it before we put the second level on. If you find old tiles in your topsoil, get rid of it. Gypsy. Let's go with... Let's put here. the srirachas here because they're taller. They're the ones in it, the ones right in the back. Okay. Yep. Right the next year. Yeah. So I just pop them out. I'm not gentle with these. Kind of break up the roots gently. Pretty hardy. And you're you're pretty much good to go. When you drop these tiers on, you're going to have a pocket of space like right here. So just dig it down. You can plant a pepper a little bit past where it's level right here with the starting mix soil to about there. Lean them forward. Press them in and you've got the tears started. Quick and simple, you've got yourself some peppers going. All right, all right, so we got that. Hand me another gypsy. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six. This is seven gallons of material. Whatever vertical tower you grow, I really recommend getting something with at least seven gallons worth of material in there because the plants are small now. They're a little bit yellow, but the water soluble fertilizer will fix that. When it gets to be you know, July, which is only about 10 days away. Yeah. The heat is here, the plants are getting bigger, they're gonna pull the moisture out of here. So the more soil you have, the better flexibility you have with waiting on watering. And that's pretty much that's it. Good. That's good, it's the easy, setup. quick and simple. Yeah. So maybe give this a soaking, and then I'll bring over the other one to refresh. So you wanna do your slow release fertilizer, which we already did with the organic granular fertilizer, but you also wanna give them a quick boost with a water soluble fertilizer. This is fish emulsion. And this uh, mixes, it's in a concentrate form. It mixes together with the water and the nutrients are immediately available to the plant. So I'm just gonna give a nice good soil drench down. This is higher in nitrogen. And so um, it will help with the yellowing leaves. will really help get your plants off to a great start. Lots of good green leafy growth there. So we'll just let it soak in. And then we're gonna put the second level on in just a moment. So all I really do, in this case, we have the 50-50 mix, which, which works well. If I only had peat moss, I would just throw the peat moss in there. And then Perfect. I just blend it together. Grab Couple your handfuls, yeah. Organic granular. Let me come behind here. Nice and refresh, get it nice and refreshed. Yeah, and you can see the root system from the weeds that were in there. That's what you really wanna break up. Add a couple handfuls in. Yeah, you definitely don't want to get rid of your uh, organic or your potting mix. Soil is your biggest investment, so make the most of it and uh, reuse it. Just refresh it. And you're going to end up... Hit it with a little water. Yeah. This is pretty moist because it rained the yeah, other day. Yeah, not bad at all. And this is really all you have to do to refresh it. You're going to save a lot of money. And then you end up with more container mix to put in you know, different places. If you don't have a wheelbarrow, um, just use a tarp, or you could even do it right in the container there. You, you can. get like a little hand rake or whatever to mix it in, or just get in there with your hands. Yeah, Give, you know, we won't even mix that. Just yeah. throw it into here again. So as you're filling this up, if you have compost, leaf grow, worm castings, you can kind of stop here, put in the better stuff, mix it through, and you're just setting up a really, really nice container mix. But if you're on a budget, the organic granular will work, as will the fish emulsion. And then the fish emulsion, like we're really setting this up now, 
they're good for at least 30 days. Yeah. Maybe in four weeks, a little more water-soluble fertilizer, but they're going to have plenty of nutrients. I like the worm tea too, because it really gives things like a little boost without giving them tons and tons of nitrogen. So they get a lot of good, really good slow and steady growth and helps with the flowering and the fruiting and all kinds of things like that. Yeah, and don't be shy of filling these. You don't want to leave really more than a half an inch. You can really take yeah. it to the top. It'll settle, down, settle in too yep. over the next couple weeks. All right, so get ready to move that. You just take these little things right at the bottom there and line them up right here. So how the peppers Okay, look. let's see here. Make sure they're all out of the way. Over yep. here, they're good. Yeah, and it just, you just gotta give it a little shake. This actually, it's almost clicked in. That's oh, it. there we go, okay. We're in over here. So you can All really right. either put the peppers in uh, as you build the tiers or afterwards, correct? Yep. So we could nice. stack it all the way up and then you just get in here and dig. So let's actually do that. We'll finish these tiers and then we'll tuck in a few more peppers. Nice. So we decided to fill in three tiers. That's six, 12, 18 pepper plants. We can put other things in here. We have a mix of shishitos, and I think we put in, not a red cayenne, but very similar. What was it? Uh, what was a red chili, I think? Red chili, thank yeah, you. Yeah, and the gypsy. Yep, so we have a nice mix of hot and sweet, 18 peppers in a small footprint. Now we've been watering these in as we set them up, but because you just got started, you can go to each pocket and just give them a nice drink. You really want to have all the soil really saturated but once this is going you can just fill the top of the reservoir with water and it will come all the way down and drip this is the basic setup you may have to water this every other day when it, the heat's really here and you can also just add in the fish emulsion yep. too Sometimes that will feed everything thanks for watching please check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com and growing vertically is a great way to save space and really get a lot of production out of your garden thanks for watching this is a really efficient way to grow a lot of peppers and a little bit of space with this green stock tower here. We've got 18 peppers basically in about a two foot square space and they're going to grow really nicely. We did leave the center to um, tiers here empty, but you can pop whatever you want in there. Herbs, flowers would be nice to bring in pollinators. Looks really good and it's really quick and easy and you're going to save a lot of money this way too. So comment below, let us know if you're going to grow a pepper tower and head over to calikimgardeninhome.com to my seed and garden shop. Get 15% off this weekend with the code SQUASH. It applies to all my seed collections, books, and my Calikim Smart Pots. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. This looks good.